Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called The Elevator. This is made by 616 Games again. Like, what are they doing? Just creating these games in a lab or something? Like, they're just churning out these games like it's freaking butter. But you know what? I'm not here to question how the games are made. I'm just here to play them. It says the elevator is not working. Let's find out why right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! I love how these games always ask me if I'm sure I want to start a new game. Like, I'm going to be like, you know what? No, I'm going to take a minute. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna go make myself a TV dinner. I'm gonna watch a game show on TV. Yes, I'm sure. 616 Games presents the fifth game in four days called The Elevator. You thought you were going to the next floor? The only place you're going to is hell. I really need to promote these games or something. Like some narration type movie trailer shit. Because, hey, you know what I do. You know what I do. Or if you don't know what I do, this is what I do, okay? And if you knew what I do, but then didn't know what I do until I told you that I do what I do, then welcome to this game. Because, yeah, like I said, this is called The Elevator. It's not working, even though I clearly just saw The Elevator working right now. And this is me. And I don't want to sit. Don't tell me what to do, game. You're not my mother. Let me change the graphics one time. What's horror? That's horror? That's not horror. Let's do this one. I like this one. This is my favorite one. Yeah, so I'm behind the desk, so I can't see myself. But I can see that ugly ass carpet looking like pepperoni nipples. I guess I'm working at a hotel. I thought I was just going to be like an office worker that worked at an elevator. This elevator is kind of weird. Yeah, it kind of just closed on my dick hole. What? What's this? Lost child. Have you seen this child? Call... I don't even know what that is. Have you seen this phone number? Because I didn't. Blurry as shit. Our first customer's coming. Top of the morning, chill ladies. Good evening, sir. I'm staying in room 105. My name is Karim Musa. Just a second, sir. I'll check. All right, so where is Kareem Musa staying? He is staying in room number... Who freaking knows? You can go up, sir. Your name is not on the list. I'm sorry. You can go up. Thank you, and good night. Like I said, don't tell me what to do. If I want to have a bad night, then I'm going to have a bad night. Let me make sure he walks up those stairs. Yeah, you better. You better go to room 105. Or else, if I catch you in room 104, I'm giving you 40 lashes. All right. Let's take a seat. Did the elevator just open? Shit, the elevator is driving me crazy. Okay, let's get up. Elevator is driving you crazy, you say? Can I go inside? I called the elevator. Didn't answer. Anyway. Whoa. Bro, I'm kind of freaked out. I feel like we're going to see somebody in that elevator. Really freaking soon. Oh, what? Yo, I already know we're going to see somebody inside that elevator. Hell no. I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down, and I'm just rethinking all my choices in life. Oh, I can actually change. No! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the fuck is that guy? Whoa. Who is this ugly-ass beast just looking at me? Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait. Wait a minute. What? What? Hold on. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? They're right here. They're right here. It was a freaking demon beast. What do you want, huh? The power of Christ compels you, bitch. Yeah. I can see you from the back. Oh, shit, somebody's coming. Hey, get out of here. You're gonna scare away all the customers. That's money. Hello, friend. I stayed here this morning. I'm sleepy. Can I go to my room? Just a second, sir. Alan Alonzo, which is sleepy ass. You said that you were here and you just want to go to sleep, right? All right, let's see. Alan. Alan. Alan Alonzo. Okay, with two L's. All right, sir, you can go up. Thank you and good night. Do you see that beast, too? In the gross booger green sweater? You're about to walk right through her. She's right there. What the? Oh, shit. Somebody's here. Your name is Scotty. <laughs> hey, man. I just want to go to my room soon. I'm Scott. Just a second, sir. I'll check. All right, Scotty. Let me see if you can go to your room ski. I'm sorry, everybody. Scott, Scott, Scott. Ooh, I'm afraid not, Scott. Your name is not on the list. I'm sorry. Go fuck yourself, you son of a bitch. Damn, my bad, Scott. What did I ever do to you? It only costs $10 to stay here is what I would say if I was a little bitch. Yeah, get out of here. Go down to the other hotel with your ugly ass. Speaking of ugly ass, this no shoes wearing, two timing demon, they need to fix the elevator soon. Yeah, and they need to exercise this building with some holy water or something. Come on now, stop playing with me game. Don't do this to me. Like, I'm just really out here trying to live my best life, and this person just haunting me for no reason. Come on. 
Uh oh. Why does it sound like that? I mean, why does it sound like that? It's an elevator. Duh. It's an elevator. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, I can actually go in here now? Whoa! What the? Oh! Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Whoa. I think I'm going crazy. I'm working too hard. Said the lazy ass bum. This dude look like he has his underwear on too tight. Like he's not trying to let his legs chafe for some shit. And the person's still standing there. Why is she putting that hand out like that? Pascal Solzano. Who? Oh. Hi, Josh. Can I go to my room? I'm too tired. Hello, Mr. Solzano. Just a minute. Okay, Salzano. Wait, did I just see Salzano? No, I didn't see Salzano. Let's see. Salzano, Salzano. Pascal Salzano. Why is that ghost doing that, though? There's like two ghosts. Doesn't make any sense. You guys see that shit? <laughs> the ghost is like, brains. All right, Baldy. You can go up. Good night and good work, friend. Thank you for giving me a compliment on my great work. I truly do appreciate that. May I say that bald looks really good on you? It doesn't. It doesn't look good on him. Wait, where did the ghost go? Ghost? Oh, fuck. The elevator's doing its thing again. Hey! Get away from the front desk. Get away from the front desk. You're starting to stink. You're scaring away all the non-customers. Can I go back in here? Oh, I can't go back in there. I don't understand this game sometimes. Let me ring this bell. Kind of looks like a titty. Yeah, see, somebody is just chilling right there. What the hell? Hello, Hotel 616, Josh, how can I help you? Good morning, Josh. This is Detective Hoffman. I'm calling to alert you to a murderer on the loose. Good night, Detective. A killer on the loose? We are calling all the hotels in the area. He is a dangerous guy. The victims are all children. My God, can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect. A tall, bald, bearded man. A tall, bald, bearded man. Didn't I just compliment a bearded man balder than Michael Jordan just walked up the stairs and he's out there killing children probably? My God, can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect. A tall, bald, bearded man. Can you tell me even more? Thanks for the warning, detective. I'll keep an eye out. So crazy he had to tell me twice, right? What the fuck? Thanks for your attention, Josh. Good night. Wait. That's the guy, right? A tall, bald, bearded man. I mean, he wasn't even that tall. Like, 5'5 five, five at best. I think I'm going crazy. I'm working too hard. You are not working too hard. I promise you. I promise you. I know what working hard looks like, and you are totally on the opposite side of that shit. But let me look through the camera. Let me flip through this shit like there's nothing good on TV. All right. Um, I don't need to look at that bullshit. Fuck this elevator, bro. Should I go back? Should I do my thing? I'm gonna do my thing. Call it. I can't go inside. Should I go see that bearded man? I can't. Fuck. What is happening? There's like no customers. Here. Oh. Hey. What are you doing? Oh my. Okay, so the ghost pointed that way. And she pointed right at this guy right here. Do you think that she is a children? Yeah, she's a child. Look how small she is. I'm going to need to go, Josh. If anyone... What? I think he said if anyone looks for me. Something like that. And the person just pointing. Can I go up? I can't go up. So this ghost kind of just pointed at this direction when that guy came down. I'm like 4 for 4 on guessing it correctly with these 616 games. Like, I feel like I'm 616 games low-key. I think that's probably one of the victims. Like, one of the ghosts of the people that he killed. And she was pointing right at the boy. Can I go in here? I can't. Okay, can I leave? He didn't even shut the door. What the? Hey, what am I? I'm not trying to leave. I'm trying to get my money. I'm trying to get my bag, baby. Yo, there is literally nothing to do in this game right now. I literally have been standing here with my thumb up my ass for like five minutes now. And it's starting to get uncomfortable. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Hello? Game? If you want to call it that, what is happening right now? I've literally been... Oh! Okay. Whoa, my... What the... What? Hey! What the hell happened to your freaking face? Holy shit. I've heard a pink eye, but that's next level. 
sounding like some 93.7 lean ground beef type shit. Where am I? Whoa. Uh, y do you want me to go in there? Okay. I mean, you could have just said in here. What the? What the fuck was that? I'm freaking out. Yep, that was definitely Pascal. Pascal, his name was way too exotic for him to be innocent in this bitch. Okay, Pascal, I am calling the police. How do I call the police? How come I can't pick up the phone and just dial 911? Salzano matches the killer's characteristics. I'll notify the police. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Okay, come on. Detective Hoffman, how can I help you? Hi, Detective. This is Josh from the front desk at Hotel 616. Hi, Josh. Do you have something important for me? There is a guest here who matches the characteristics of the assassin. He has just left the hotel. Thanks for the info. I'll send a friend over to check it out. A friend? You're just gonna send a friend? He's not even a police officer? I am so gonna die! I am so fucked! Oh, you big, bold, Mr. Clean-looking ass bitch! I'm dead! I'm dead. I'm just gonna sit here, and I'm just gonna pretend that I'm not a snitch because I am not gonna die. He is not even gonna bury me in a shallow grave. Look at the way he's walking. He is walking like he is ready to kill. Fuck me, I'm dead. I'm so dead, aren't I? Did something happen, Josh? You look very nervous. Oh, no, buddy. It's okay. How was your walk? Invigorating. But are you sure it's okay? You are sweating. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just, I'm just tired. I think you're hiding something. Aren't we friends? No, we're not friends, actually. I don't even know you. I'm not hiding anything. I already told you everything is fine. I told you. Don't kill me. Please? Just, just come on. Just go up there. I'll give you complimentary room service. Peanut butter and jelly. Just how you like it. Fuck. This dude got some thick ass legs. Shit. This one was close. He is very suspicious. I mean, I don't think he's very suspicious. I think that he's just calling you out on your bullshit. So yeah, you're pretty much fucked. You are so clapped. Oh, wait. Why is there like a random stain right here? There's like a random stain right here. Blood is dripping from the top of the elevator. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh my God. How did that happen? Wait, 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 wait. So he stayed in this hotel, and then he killed one of the guests? And then he just freaking killed him? My god, that scene will never get out of my head. How did he stay at this hotel and kill this person and then put them at the top of the elevator? That doesn't make any sense. Is somebody gonna come here? Can I live? Can I please live? I wanna live. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. What do I do? I don't understand what I do. No! Oh, How? I literally got out the elevator, went back in, did not see him. How did that even happen? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay. All right. You want to play like that? How about I play this shit again? And this time I just denied him the right to stay at the hotel. Because we had an option to either let him go up. Or just say, you know what? Screw this bullshit. You're not coming in my hotel. You know what? What about denying every single person that stays here? Let me say, your name is not on the list. I'm sorry. You are making a mistake. I go to the police. <laughs> what? Man, people are pretty dramatic in this game, huh? Let me see what happens if I say his name is not on the list. I'm sorry. What? You sent two hotel guests away. Game over. Oh, okay. So you get a game over if you send them away. Okay, so we know that Scotty's name isn't actually on this thing. So I actually want to just let him go through. Let's see what happens. Thank you and good night. And then he kills me too. We have two serial killers staying in this freaking hotel. Imagine if he just runs behind here and just freaking stabs me. Do it then. But you know what I'm thinking? Like, what room is he going to go up to? He doesn't have a key to any type of room. If you've ever stayed in any hotel, everybody has, like, a unique key card to get into the room. Like, where the hell is he going to stay? All right, everybody, here's the moment of truth. The reason I even restarted this game, I'm going to say your name is not on the list. I'm sorry. You're crazy, Josh. I'll complain to your boss. That's it? Mr. Thickums? That's all you're going to do? Hold on, that doesn't make any sense. So he's just gonna leave and then what? He's coming back. He's coming soon to butt cheeks near you. Wait, what? I'm gonna need to go, Josh. If anyone looks for me, let me know. What? Hold on. He still came from downstairs? Oh, you Mr. Egghead looking ass bitch. Okay, so you can't actually turn away the guy. You can tell him that his name is not on the list, but he'll still end up being at the hotel anyway. 
He literally just came down the stairs and told me he's gonna go for a walk. So yeah, there's only one ending to this game, and it's the dude killing you as soon as you get out the elevator. Let me know what you thought about this game down low in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!